many parts of the world, moderate alcohol consumption is considered normal and acceptable. But there is no place for alcohol in the workplace, especially for those of you working on board ships. Your duties will always include emergency duties. High alcohol levels in your blood will dramatically affect your ability to perform these duties. Alcohol is a chemical. Its effect on you is determined by the amount of pure alcohol there is in the drinks you consume. This is often measured in units. A standard drink, such as a small beer, a small glass of wine, a measure of sherry or port, and a measure of spirits, all contain about one unit of alcohol. That is 10 milliliters of pure alcohol. Although this is the unit measurement used throughout this video, unit measurements may differ depending on the country. In the United States, for example, a standard drink is any drink that contains about 0.6 fluid ounces, which equals 17.44 milligrams or 1.77 units of pure alcohol. A large glass of ordinary beer or a large glass of wine contains two units, whereas a bottle of wine, either still or sparkling, contains between nine to 10 units. There are 30 units of alcohol in a bottle of spirits. These figures are only rough guides you can do the calculation for any drink you are consuming. Look on the label. This can of beer contains 330 milliliters and has an alcohol content of 4.5%. That makes nearly 15 milliliters of pure alcohol, one and a half units. It's better to drink slowly and to keep to drinks with low alcohol content. When you drink, the alcohol passes from the mouth to the stomach. Here, about 20% of it is absorbed directly into the blood. The remainder moves into the small intestine, where it too is absorbed into the blood. The alcohol circulates around the body, reaching and affecting every organ, notably the brain and the liver. Alcohol is a depressant. In the brain, it affects the central nervous system, resulting in changes in behavior and motor function. In the liver, alcohol is broken down. There, alcohol is destroyed at the rate of about one unit per hour. This is the only way that the alcohol levels in the body are lowered. There is no quick cure such as large amounts of black coffee. And although water may lessen the effects of a hangover, it will not reduce alcohol levels in the body. Time and the action of the liver is the only way. Alcohol also has long-term effects on the body and the brain. Doctors have found alcohol intake above a certain level is a threat to your health. The recommended safe limit for men is three to four units per day. And for women, it's less, two to three units per day. It's good to have a couple of alcohol-free days each week. Good health is compatible with sensible, responsible drinking. As far as the effect on the brain is concerned, all that matters is how much pure alcohol you are consuming and how fast. Remember, too, that the effects of alcohol can last for many hours. What was it to be, then? It's my round, isn't it? You should really watch yourself. You know how the old man feels about drinking. Well, you never see him drinking, but he's all right about it. He's OK about it if you're not drinking on his ship. Well, I don't. Anyway, with this day work, there's no problem. I mean, I admit I like a drink now and again when I'm ashore. But it's not as if I can't handle it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. 
Oh, I think we should have had another one. Are you kidding? No, no, I'm serious. Drinking while in any position of responsibility is completely unacceptable. Alcohol has a powerful slowing effect on everybody's reaction time and decision making, whether they admit it or not. The actual effect on the brain and body is governed by the blood alcohol concentration, or BAC. That is the actual level of alcohol that is in the bloodstream. There isn't a simple relationship between units of alcohol drunk and blood alcohol concentration. It depends on how much is drunk, how fast it is drunk, whether it is after a recent meal, your body weight and your metabolic weight. A rough guide is that one unit will give a BAC of 15 to 20. That's in milligrams of alcohol in 100 milliliters of blood. As the blood alcohol concentration increases, more and more vital functions are impaired. Effects on the central nervous system start at a BAC of 30. At a BAC of 40, perhaps only two units, you will feel relaxed and cheerful. But you will be less alert and your reaction times will be slower than normal, although you might think otherwise. But you are twice as likely to injure yourself or have an accident. At this level, it is currently illegal for you to be in a position of responsibility on board a ship in an increasing number of countries, including the United States. Moderate drinkers could easily be over this limit. After a drinking session, you might still have this level the following morning. So, in line with STCW guidance, you should never drink in the four hours before you go on watch. At a BAC of 80, you feel warm and confident. But if you drive, you are four times as likely to have an accident. At this level, it is illegal for you to drive in many countries. With a BAC of 120, you are five times more likely to have a road accident. You cannot concentrate properly. Reaction times are very slow. Both physical coordination and dexterity is severely impaired. At 150, you are over 10 times more likely to have a road accident. Your speech will be slurred and you will appear to be obviously drunk. Beyond these levels, coherent action is not really possible. Vital functions are increasingly impaired until death can occur at a blood alcohol concentration of 400. This drastic reduction in concentration and reaction time is considered a major factor in a significant number of fatal accidents at work. There are many statistics, but they all tell the same story. Alcohol affects everybody's ability to perform and make decisions. But not only does alcohol reduce control, it can also release pent-up aggression. Anyone who has worked in bars is likely to have seen aggressive behavior brought on by heavy drinking. This can be a real problem on passenger ships. Hey. I need a beer. Sorry, sir, you already drink too much. Okay? No, oh, I'm not okay. Sorry. Personnel need to be able to refuse to serve drinks to those who have had too much. Safety officer, this is Cosmopolitan, but there is quite... Your company will have procedures to deal with this problem and they must be followed. This will usually include taking a passenger to their cabin. The security staff will need the proper training in dealing with aggression. But the price of excess alcohol is not limited to violence and accidents. Excess drinking has a detrimental effect on the body. 
particularly the liver and brain. This shows a normal, healthy liver, and this, the liver of a heavy drinker. This shows a digital X-ray of a healthy brain, and this is the brain of a habitual hard drinker. The brain shrinkage usually found in heavy drinkers can clearly be seen. This kind of damage will happen to the brain and liver of everyone who drinks to excess. The effect of this deterioration shows up in the health statistics of all countries. The more people drink, the more these diseases occur. But it's not always easy to spot the heavy drinker in the workplace. Eddie, before you go, uh, there was something I wanted to have a word with you about, just between the two of us. Sure, Peter. I may be jumping to conclusions a bit, but uh, I'd like to give you a friendly warning about boozing. I admit I like a drop now and then, but I've got it well under control. I've never let it interfere with the work. I'm very glad to hear that. But what can happen is that it can get beyond the point where you can control it. I mean, you don't realise you can't control it until it's gone too far. Yeah, well, second, I, I hear what you're saying, but I really don't think it applies to me. That's good, because I wanted to talk to you before it really does become a problem. The way things are now, if any officer has any history of alcohol abuse, he's liable to be barred from positions of real responsibility. Even though the company has a program to provide help before the situation develops beyond the point of no return. The objective for the supervisor is to try to put the person with the problem in touch with experts who can diagnose the trouble and who will know best how to do something about it. Yeah. Second, I understand what you, you're saying, but... It is not the supervisor's to... job to solve the situation. I've only sort of seen the objective happened. must be to assist the individual, it could become official. What? to offer help and possible control. rehabilitation. By starting a dialogue, by trying to help it, rather than punish, you will be doing that person a great a, service. It then becomes official and it will affect... Now, I'd like to talk with you something. I heard that you had problem with this. In the end, it's all about safety and the health of those on board. If you think anyone has developed an alcohol problem, it's better to discuss it with him or her rather than ignore it. The International Transport Workers Federation has published guidelines. The ILO the International Labour Organization has issued a code of practice emphasizing the preventative approach in dealing with alcohol and substance abuse. Some companies operate a zero tolerance policy, but all policies should be based on the ILO code of practice, along with STCW requirements and guidance and ISM obligations. The abuse of alcohol is no longer acceptable at sea or in ship management. Some administrations, such as the United States, insist on mandatory testing for everyone after any serious marine incident in their waters, regardless of nationality or the ship's flag state. Okay. Drinking is for many a great pleasure. For others, it is the direct or indirect cause of accidents and sickness, unhappiness, injury and death. But in spite of this terrible toll that alcohol exacts on many lives, there is often a great deal of social pressure on people to drink more. About one in 25 regular drinkers develops into a problem drinker. Do you know anyone whose drinking is controlling him or her? In the long run, you will be doing them a favor by bringing their attention to the problem. If you are drunk, your physical coordination and ability to react will be reduced. You expose yourself and others on board to the increased risk of accidents, injury, even death, which could have a disastrous effect on your family and all those who depend on you for their welfare. So keep your drinking under control. It's the only way. <laughs>